Hi guys, Wendy here. In this video, we're going to draw Taylor Swift from her delicate music video. So let's get started. To draw Taylor, we're going to first start by drawing her face. So I'm going to start by right here and I'm going to draw kind of like the bottom of a U. So I'm going to go to the other side. And then from there, we're just going to round it off and connect it. So there I got a nice bottom of a U and then from there I'm just going to come in this area where uh, I started, come down a little bit towards the edge I'm going to draw a circle for her eyes. So we're going to draw her, <laughs> draw her eyes first. So it just makes it a little bit easier to gauge where to put her bangs. So I'm going to go to right across on the other side and draw another circle right towards the edge. And then let's make them draw so cute eyes. So I'm going to come in here for two small circles for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And the lines at the bottom. So same thing over here, two small circles for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and a shade in the top. And the lines at the bottom. So from there, let's add some lashes for Taylor right here. So I'm going to come to the edge right here and just bring out maybe two curves. So a longer one for the top and a shorter one for the bottom. So same thing on this side. Nice long one for the top and then a shorter one for the bottom. So there. Now let's give her a sweet smile right in the center. So we're going to come right here and just draw a small little curve and cap it off. Okay, so then from there, let's draw her bangs. So it's going to be right above her eyes. And so I'm just going to be drawing zigzags basically. So don't worry too much about how it's drawn exactly. You just want to create this zigzag that goes right across. So just here and there, you can go up a little bit, come down, just make it a little bit more random so it's not too stiff. So somewhere here, like that. And then we're just going to bring it out to the edge a little bit. And then from there, let's draw her ears first. So I'm going to come to where about her eyes are and I'm just going to come about right here and draw a big curve that comes all the way down. And before I finish it, I'm just going to come in this area and draw a circle just for her earrings, just to simplify it and come in here for some details for her ear. So same thing on the other side. I'm just going to drag some points across so I know how big to make these ears and a circle. And let's come in here once again for some details. Okay, so that looks pretty weird right now, right? Because we have to finish off her bangs. So I'm going to come in this area where I gave myself a little line that comes out and I'm just going to dip it in a little bit and come out. Dip it in and come out. Just kind of like a bell shape almost. And from in here where her ear is and her face is, we're going to draw a little angle line that comes out, overlapped by the bangs, and we're going to start basically to draw her the rest of her head. So I'm going to come to my center, so about right here, about that high. I'm just going to give my self a center. And then I'm just going to go ahead and connect it. There. So notice I didn't just go and draw one big curve like a big dome. I kind of angled it a little bit so it doesn't look too, um, too weird and too perfectly round. 
Okay, so then from there, let's come finish off this curve for her bangs. So it's all at the center. So you can kind of lightly. Just indicate that her bangs go up there. And then you can come in here and just finish these lines up, give it some more details. You definitely do that a little bit better when you use when you're coloring it so the colors are more subtle and not just this sharp dark black color I mean. Okay, so we got her head in. Now let's draw her body. So we'll save her little ponytail for later, see if we need it or not. Because um, you don't really see her ponytail unless she's swishing her head around so but I feel like it does need something because it just Looks very plain with just the bangs. So we'll do that later, but let's come back here and do um, draw her body So I'm going to come here and draw her neck Just give her a little neck right here And curve out her shoulders Okay, so this side I'm kind of leaving it straight I'm not going down because I know her hands gonna be outstretched so the next step is to come about right here. I'm going to give myself two points. And so that's where approximately her armpits are going to be. And from there, I'm going to draw a curve out. Kind of like an angle line out actually. So this is going to be the beginning of her dress, her little um, flapper dress. And so then from there, I'm going to connect it because it's sleeveless. So from here, I'll connect that. Let's give her a collar. And then follow right here, I'm going to connect it with a curve, a soft curve. This is where the fringes start and then this um, material right here is a little bit more transparent. So let's see, let's bring down this a little bit more for all the fringes. So notice I'm angling it out a little bit more to give it some um, movement and then I'm just going to come in here and just very lightly zigzag it all the way across. And I'll go in there later with some details for all the fringes. Then from there, let's come back in again. So we're going to come in and we're going to draw the rest of her outfit. So there's a layer right here that doesn't have any fringe. And let's just connect it with a curve. And then now we're going to pop it out for another two layers of fringe and come out a little bit. So first layer. I'm like drawing a regular skirt, flare it out a little bit, and once again, come in and just lightly zigzag it all the way across. And one more layer. And once again. Okay, so then from there, let's start to draw her arms. So let's work on this one first. So this one, I'm just going to have it right to her side to make it a little bit easier. And let's just bring this curve down. All the way down. And so about right here, we're going to start to draw her hand. You can angle in for her fingers. Just tuck it in right there so you don't have to mess with it too much. And then in this area right here where you can still see, let's just draw a little thumb. So at least that way, is, you can kind of tell it's fingers. There. And then from there, let's come in here in this area and just draw an angle, a slight angle line down for her hand. Okay, so then from there, let's draw the other arm that comes straight out because she's dancing. So I'm going to bring out this angle line. It's about that much. And right here, her armpit. So there's going to be a slight curve right here because her hand is outstretched. And just bring it in and tapering. This part is so delicate. <laughs> so say about right there, same length. And then we're going to bring out her finger. So I'll start with her thumb first. So they're spread out. So one thumb. And then I 
pinky. So we're only going to draw four total fingers. I know, it's weird, right? Why do we do that? Because it would look too many with five. That's why most cartoon drawings, the characters always have only four fingers. Okay, so there, we got her hands outstretched. And then now to draw her legs. So I'm making her legs also standing apart. So I'm gonna come in this area right here. And so same thing on this side. And let's bring it down, all the way down. We're gonna be tapering as we go down. Okay, so then for about right here, we're gonna to start to draw her feet. So notice it's getting thinner and thinner, and then we're gonna come out here and just draw her little ankle, back of her foot, her heel, and drag this curve out about right there, and then curve it in for her toes. Okay, and then you can come in here for just draw small little curves. There's three of them. The same thing on this side. So it's getting smaller and then about right there, pop it out a little bit for her heel, ankle part. Bring this out, flare it out. And connect. So same thing here, her toes would be up here. So make this one bigger and then two smaller ones. Okay, so then, um, let's see here. So I think we should add a little, some hair on the back. So we can come in here if you want to draw the ponytail part and just come maybe in this area right here, just to give it some movement. If you think it looks too weird, you can move it, you can leave it out. And just curve it out and just wave it back in there just gives her hair some more stuff so now to add some details to her dress i'm going to come in here with a thinner sharpie and i'm just going to come in here and draw all the little fringes so just come in here just randomly some shorter some longer so this reminds me of the Camila Cabello drawing that I just recently did for her flapper dress. So be sure to check that out if you haven't already. So I guess maybe flapper dresses are, are all the rage now. <laughs> I definitely love them. Okay, so I'm just gonna come in here randomly and just notice I'm kind of flicking it up as I go so it softens at the end. And one thing I forgot, although you don't see her eyebrows, you can always come in here so that it doesn't look too weird and just draw an indication, maybe just the start of it. So I'm coming maybe like in this area right here, just the beginnings of it. I think it just needs a little indica indication of her eyebrows. So there, that is pretty much it for Taylor Swift from her music video, Delicate. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.